Ha say, sweetie, oh, way back in my day, uh, we used to have the solitaire, and then when you started growing up, I know that you had the Yugi Mods and the Digio, but what in God's green earth is a clatter card? I suck today. We're talking about what the f is a clatter card, and what a clatter card is, is probably one of the funnest things about this game that we have so far. No joke. It's like a collectible card game, but it's also like team fight tactics and like, you know, the chess rush, you know, the auto chess genre. It's kind of like the collectathon version of that, but just implemented into uh, ooh la la. It's super dope and you're going to be unlocking it very soon around level 42, if I recall correctly. But let me tell you, it's definitely one of the best parts about this game, but a lot of people are misusing it. A lot of people are wasting their resources because there is once again a common misconception that people have about clatter cards. So hey, I'm Tectone. I'm here to save your ass a lot of pearls. I'm here to save your ass a bunch of time. Except for this intro, because I'm dragging it out. Let's get into it. All right, to access your clatter card menu, you're gonna go ahead and navigate over to your character selection screen. Then you're gonna go ahead and navigate over to the clatter card section in the bottom right corner. You're gonna go right there, you're gonna be presented with this menu. If you just unlocked it, you will only have two slots. The slots will continue to begin to be unlocked per certain achievements that you need to get. So Kobo Coast 50, Tintin Ice Cave 20, uh, Wary Woodland, so on and so forth. Yes, this is going to take you a long time time and i know you might become like oh man it's gonna take forever that's good because that ensures you that there will be longevity for this game the game does plan to have lots of content for the months and the years to come so take that as a good thing do not start getting pissed off at me now okay i'm sure that you're noticing that you're getting clatter coins as you progress which is probably why you click this video because you have all these clatter coins but you don't know how to use them once again level 42 you get new clatter coins by completing new stages it starts off as three it can go super high but the base level is at three right now i'm currently at the five zone okay so the important thing to notice is if you're at the same progress level as somebody else you are going to have the same clatter coins as somebody else the other thing that i don't see being told enough about is is that clatter coins are not a finite resource they are an infinite resource in a way and what i mean by that is if you go to the store and you just buy let's say you buy the lightning flying squirrel because why the hell not you're a furry you go down here you go to the flying squirrel you bought it for 120 you're gonna sell it back you get your full 120 back do not be hesitant for when you're buying these cards okay buy whatever you want okay buy whatever you want now you don't want to fill up your inventory down here too much because it's going to cost you a ass load of pearls in order to increase your inventory but if you see a legendary if you see a purple if you see a blue shit just pick it up pick it up make sure it's good for you and if not just sell it back don't sweat it this does not have to be that serious it's quite simple once you get the hang of things but i can see how it would be overwhelming and trust me i was quite overwhelmed when i picked this shit up too because i wanted this little monkey and thank god i figured out that he was good for me okay so now let's get down to the actual card process and it is once again very simple okay buying one one star card will give you a one star buying three one star cards will grant you a two star getting three one stars making them a two star three times to have in total three two stars will then be fused in order to create a three star another thing okay that's how you get three stars so you need nine cards in total to make a three star cards do not change rarity you will not see cards evolve you will not see cards go from common to epic or common to green or common to blue or blue to legendary or blue to purple you will see none of that shit because whatever rarity it is that is what rarity it will stay and that confused the hell out of me because i thought for sure my little velociraptor was going to evolve into a blue t-rex i don't know why i thought that but hey we all think crazy shit when we don't know what's actually going on so rarity are permanent star levels however are not okay so another thing okay you're gonna go ahead and navigate over to the store okay do not refresh the store unless it's free especially if you're early game because as you can see in the rates right here 52 percent for common 
30% for green, 15% for blue, 3% for epic, 0% for legendary. When I first started off, it was around, you know, like 80% for a gray and like a 10% for a green and then like a 10% for a blue and then 0% epic and 0% legendary. And now you're probably thinking, Tecto, what, what are they doing? Did the, the, the company change the rates? No, the rates change by themselves as you progress. The more slots that you unlock, the more... Uh, the better chances you have of actually getting a higher increased rarity card. So once again, as you go along here, as you progress through the game, your rates will actually increase, which is great because this prevents early whaling. So once again, XD Global, which by the way, is a company who's been taking great care of me. They're, they're talking to the CM, absolutely amazing. I've never had as good of an interaction with a dev company as I have with this game. Once again, XD Global, huge shout out to them. They are treating me great big shout out just wanted to put that in there so the further you progress the better your odds will be and once again it straight up says nay no legendaries no legendaries for you early game players and that's good so here's the other thing to notice okay and this is gonna blow your mind okay think of these cards as if they're in a deck okay and each unique copy of a card each like unique little character only has nine copies of that card in the entire deck, okay? As you take a copy out, it no longer exists the deck because it's in your possession, which means the odds of getting that card again are going to be drastically reduced, especially when you need one more to get that three-star completion, yes. The more cards you pull out, the less likely of the odds you are to get the, the same card of that value or of that creature. Sorry, I slipped up a little bit there. But yeah, so make sure to keep that in mind. Your odds will drop the more that you go, which can be abused. And let me tell you how. If you have the opportunity at the early game to start picking up multiple copies of commons, you can do that and use that to your advantage and leave those three stars in your inventory as the commons, so that way you will increase your odds of getting the greens, getting the blues, getting the epics, getting the legendaries, because there are less shitty cards in the deck as you pick them out, you fuse them, and you save yourself some slots, because rather than there be nine cards in that deck, it could be one card in your little storage container which is really good to do another thing to notice and i am gonna hook y'all up with what the top players or the pacemakers are using for the different servers which i actually gathered from the official Ulala la discord via a very knowledgeable member of the community aka spicy pudding shout out to my boy if you're out there right now so i will show you all the builds but the important thing to notice before i show you all these builds for each class besides mage unfortunately rip mage if you want to join my discord when i get the resources for mage i will post that post haste and especially when i make my mage guide as well which will be coming soon but tomorrow will be my warlock guide is just because you know what the pro players are using that does not mean that you have to use that it is very important to have situational awareness and what that means is use what you have while you have it don't dream about what you could have and use nothing which means if you have the opportunity to fuse three like nine one star commons that give you attack and you're a dpser go for it if you have the opportunity to fuse nine commons that give you mitigation you're a tank go for it use what you have do not dream of what you do not have okay so now that we got all that jazz out of the way and i will do a little bit more of a little bonus segment right after i show off all these cards just take everything with a grain of salt okay this is what people have at the end game not what we have right now so once again work with what you got Okay, so now that you've seen the cards, you're probably noticing a pattern of 
these cards have a lot of similar symbols and what that means is is that the reason why they have similar symbols is because when you collect multiple cards of the same symbol you will actually get set bonuses okay and so you have the giant jaw which is a great one for dps or just a, as a random example it's very important to familiarize yourself with all of the set bonuses that are available and find out what works for you yes once again you could just copy paste what the pro players are using but that's not what is available to you right now so make sure you are familiarizing yourself with every single set bonus that there is a like possible and especially what you have at your current situation and use those to your advantage okay so that is the last thing i want to talk about it is very important to not only have cards that are good for you but also sets that are good for you okay last thing i want to talk about clatter cards are great but you don't need to focus on them too much okay you can just for real collect them at your leisure don't stress about it because the longer you put off going hard on farming clatter cards the less you're going to have to spend to get those clatter cards the difference they make is really good but not until you unlock enough slots in order to fully fulfill those set bonuses because the set bonuses are the truly crazy part so i know it's tempting to refresh 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 and get the three stars but just remember you're trying to mix and match like the playing fields and you're trying to mix and match mix and match the bonuses okay so while i know it is tempting to whale please just Take my word for it, wait a little bit. And while I know it is tempting to just carbon copy what the pro players are using, once again, please just use what you have. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. A lot of time went into this video. I've spent all day trying to make sure that I was happy with what I put into this video. So I hope you're happy with it too. And I hope that you're actually at a point in the game where you can actually use the clatter card system. I know it is a little bit further in there, but I wanted to have that up in case the moment you get into the clatter card, you will know what you're in for. Or in case you don't have it, now you can prepare now. That way when you get there, you'll be good to go. So I hope you appreciate that. I hope you had some fun. I uh, hope this wasn't too boring to listen to. Um, tomorrow, uh, or maybe even today, I'm going to be doing the Warlock class guide. I'm going to start doing a series where I review every single class and tell you why you should or should not play it, but I'm going to be honest, all the classes are great. Uh, I have now tried six of them, and I'm going on uh, some of my buddy's accounts and also my wife's account in order to test all of the classes at a higher level, more in-depth and all that jazz. So if you want to learn how to play your class at a better level or why you might want to make an alt uh, of a different class and just try it out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to press the like button too please god holy crap last video man oh my god almost has a thousand likes that's absolutely insane speaking of which if you go back to my pet guide video and you leave a like and a comment and you are subscribed you will be entered into a giveaway with all the details in the description of my video for the pet guide which i'll make sure to link to at the end of this video so once again i hope you all enjoyed i'm gonna get the hell out of here hope you all enjoyed hope you all are having a damn good one and as always peace